The Color Rendering Index, or CRI, is a measurement of how well a lamp illuminates color. It's not a measurement of brightness, per se, but more an indication of how sharp colors will appear under its light. CRI should not be confused with CCT, which stands for Correlated Color Temperature. The two are related, but represent different qualities of a lamp's light. CCT is more a measurement of the light given off by the lamp itself. When you hear people talking about warm white light or cool white light, they are talking about CCT, or the color temperature of the light given off. The lighting industry uses CRI values to represent the quality of light a lamp emits, the trueness of the way colors appear under that light. CRI is determined by comparing light sources of the same CCT or color temperature against a reference source with a CRI of 100. The testing method evaluates the light source's ability to render eight standard pastel colors. The difference between the light reflected by the reference source and the light reflected by the test source provides the numeric CRI value. To most eyes, the closer the CRI value is to 100, the better the colors will appear under it. To give you an even better understanding, let's take a look at five common lighting applications and the CRI values that are most often utilized for each one. Commercial buildings often stick in the 70 to 86 CRI range for overall color quality, but you will also find halogen or incandescent lamps of 100 CRI used to highlight artwork or other important features in the space. Retail stores definitely want color details to pop, especially in clothing or furniture sections, so you will often find lamps with 90 CRI or higher being used to fill the space. Industrial buildings often don't require fluorescent lamps with more than 70 CRI and can even go as low as 20 to 25 CRI when using standard high-pressure sodium lamps. Street lights and parking lots are two more examples where you don't require high CRI lamps. All you need in these situations is standard illumination to keep you on the road. And finally, landscape lighting. This lighting application will vary depending on the need and the desire of the homeowner or tenant. If you want to emphasize the colors of flowers or plants, CRI of 80 and above would be recommended. However, if you just want to delineate where a walkway or path is, lower CRI lamps may be used. Remember, all eyes see color differently. If you're a contractor, your customer's eyes are the only ones that matter. Field testing different lamps on site is always the best way to ensure your client will be happy with their new lighting.